So in our research program, we examine DNA and use DNA technologies to help to improve the health, the welfare, and the performance of animals like horses. So we're interested in a number of traits in the horse. Uh, we value them for their personality and their ability to work with humans uh, ever since they were cavalry animals or first, first mounted or, or used to pull wagons. That's a little different than say modern cattle where we value them for meat and milk and production traits. So we value our horses for, for how they move. So some of the traits that we're interested in studying are changes in how a horse moves. Uh, some of them have different patterns in their gait so they, they can move in different ways. It's congenital, they're, they're born that way. And those variation in movements or different gaitedness is useful for riders who want to have a very smooth ride or uh, back a few hundred years ago, you needed a horse who was very efficient, who could travel long distances. And the way that those horses moved made them better at that job. And you wanted to find the horses who are better at that job. Today, we're interested in these traits or neurological traits, things that involve the nervous system, because they're very interesting uh, models to study how our brains control the way we move without us having to think about it. And it's very important for the horse industry. So the way a horse moves um, can have a, a big impact on their value, especially if they're a sport horse or a riding horse. Well, the cool thing about DNA is that we've developed lots of DNA technologies for helping us to read that sequence um, for research in humans. But DNA is the same, whether it's in a human or a horse. It's just the sequence that differs. So we get to use all of the advanced technologies to study all the way from a single base right up to the entire genome. And both the horse genome and the human genome comprise about 2.7 billion base pairs. So they're very similar in size and structure. So we adapt a lot of technologies and, and information about the genome from human medical applications for, for our research. That's the easy side. The harder part is actually better understanding the traits that we're interested in. Um, quantifying things like movement and behavior they're, they're not easy in any species, but they can be especially challenging in a big animal like a horse. What, what I hope will come out of this research are some new tools for understanding the movement of the horse. That's important because one of the biggest reasons they have to take time off of their job, whatever it is, is that they go uh, lame. Their feet can become sore, their limbs become arthritic, just like human athletes. So anything that we could do that can help horse owners and veterinarians better assess where their horse might be feeling soreness will be a very useful tool. But as a geneticist, what I want to learn are what are the genes that help us move our bodies and what are the, the specific biological pathways that help to control the development of neurons to alter the way we move. So by understanding how horses move and how their genome controls their movement, we can better understand the basic biology and basic uh, neurology of the nervous system that would help to teach us more about important things like disease and movement disorders in man.